Oh, hold on. Because Steven is like, oh, we gotta do, uh... We gotta do some initialization of the game. But hello! We're actually gonna play a game today. Um, and it's gonna take probably a couple minutes to get ready and, and do this. But, uh, before I begin, I wanna say it's been a while since I've actually done a proper stream. And, oh, it's up now. There it is. Hold on. Is it going to take the game? English. Apparently not. Hold on. It just does not like. Why does it not like Game Maker? All right, I got, I got, I got a workaround for this. Window capture. Add source. Window. Can I? Okay. Windows mode. This is why, for me, I always try to set things up beforehand, but I could, I didn't today. It's been okay. Window capture. Properties. Up. Hold on. I really don't want to do a screen like a screen cap. I just don't. In, I, I just like most software would work with a window with game capture. So I'm hoping I don't have to do a screen cap. Okay, breakfast, there it is. So, I am not prepped for this. But we want it under the webcam group. And we wanna... I am unprepared. Why am I unprepared? Why am I like this? Get the screen, there we go. I have never played this game. So, character select. I'm assuming we'll play as the Whisk. How, how play? Um, great, now now I can't figure out how to play it. Credits, spice rack, quit. I don't want to quit. I, want, I genuinely want to play the game because it looks really good. Okay, that worked. Oh, okay. Gotta keep moving because it's a small. Oh, you're gonna see me uh, not do so well with this. Not a fan of schmucks. Whoa, not very good at schmucks, but the game looks really good. It plays actually really well for me, but. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Oh. Oh, that's not fun. Runtime, 33 seconds with 32% accuracy. Yeah, I'm not very accurate. Oh, no. I what? But no, this game's a lot of fun. Always keep. Oh. Boy, am I. It'd be good. Uh, do I have anything else? Character slot. Okay, I don't have that yet. Took me a minute to go, oh, how do I play? And then I realized, oh. Gotta keep moving. And this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why I'm not gonna do this. Not, a, not I'm not good at <laughs> can't stop. <laughs> I love these achievements so much. Okay. I could definitely. I, I definitely enjoy this game. Worth the, worth the two dollars. I'm just not very good at, not very good at the. Uh, out. Not very good at the games in general, so. Get out of the way. Sometimes it's just. Oh no. Oh! Okay. So, I suppose I should quickly. I love the different enemy types that I'm coming across. So, Are these are these like paint buckets? I genuinely don't know. Are these like paint buckets? Yeah, I can't go like more than 30 seconds, but you know. Oh boy. Okay. We're making progress, but not really. I mean, it would help if I'm better. I made 43 seconds, so I wonder. It is currently 11.26 in the morning, so. Die a total of 10 times to discover I think I died a total of 10 times. Man. I need to keep my, I need to be ready to move. I should probably also have stream manager open.
I'm so confused. But I'm enjoying the game. The game's a lot of fun. I, I need to, I want to see if I can last a minute in a stage like this. Man. I know that I love the enemy variety and like the fact that you have to constantly keep moving to try and avoid everything. It's inevitable you're gonna get hit by stuff, but Oh no 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 no. Yeah, are those paint buckets? We lasted 42 seconds with an accuracy of 31.71. So we've got an accuracy probably right around 30%. What are these? Oh no, I'm gonna have fun times. I've had, like this is my first time ever playing this today. So, the game's really fun for a, a shmup. Um, and I'm, I'm actually quite enjoying it. The breakfast theme is making me kind of hungry, though, so. Man. Oh, there's a progress bar. Oh, no. No, 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 no. The spread shots. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm down to like one health, so. I mean, I've noticed a correlation with me at least. The more time that I'm in the game, the run time, the lower the accuracy. I have noticed that. Trying to, oh, oh. Huh, 11 seconds and 35% accuracy. I'm actually gonna laugh at this for just, I'm having, I'm having fun, man. Wait, I'm facing a hairbrush, a hairbrushes? Oh boy. Ooh. Oh. No, I've I've never made a shmup before. I've typically made RPG games and uh Man, am I having fun. Like, I haven't really played a lot of shoot 'em up, so. And I want to talk about that after I'm done with this game. And Whoa! Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh 
more soda bottles. Hey, 32 seconds. But okay, so the accuracy is a little higher. But I'm gonna get uh, my stream manager opened up real quick. Just so that when I do swap over, you know, I can Try not to like. I'm trying to focus here, so darn it. Thirty seconds, but twenty-seven percent accuracy. Um, I'm enjoying this. I just wish I had the confidence to actually show what I was working on on the stream with the struggles that I've been having. I used to do something like that, but it wasn't. You know. I didn't make any meaningful progress during development, I guess. Um, but no, this Breakfast of Champions is actually really cool. I'm going to just dollar quits. I mean, I will straight up go back to. Come on, Twitch, you can work. Because I probably spelled it wrong. No, it's a fun game. I actually might go back to that in my spare time to see if I can get better. Uh, where is Streamlabs? There it is. Um, I wanted to do something a bit different from, you know, the Castlevania streams. I mean, I could load up Unreal Engine 4.27 and see if I can... Uh, uh, make a better version of a 2D project. An old 2D project I did that was a prototype that just didn't go anywhere. Um, I've actually been trying uh, to get back into Unreal Engine, but I have forgotten a lot of, like, how the characters and stuff work in 2D because Unreal Engine 5, like the one that I would use, is more 3D centered. Um, you can have 2D assets, and I don't know why I just switched from talking about a project to talking about the engine. It's not the engine's fault, it's just I just, I just stopped using Unreal. I stopped, you know, trying to learn it. I, I feel kind of bad because I, I enjoyed Unreal. And I, I still enjoy using Unreal like to oh to this day and um it's a lot of fun to just mess around and i actually have a so if i were to open 4.27 and then is there a window capture Open. Uh, I'm gonna wait for. What if I hit launch? Why am I not launching? Okay, let's just let's just go in there and double click the project thing. Then the let's go into the library and do it that way. Oh, because it's trying to do prerequisites. Okay. Download and install this feature. I have to, like, open the right... Uh, yeah, this is why I don't like using the game capture for Unreal Engine, because it'll freak out. And... No. Why 
find what I'm looking for. Like, it's got my explorer and everything, but the game capture just goes goes absolutely nuts when I try to when I try to capture that. So no, I've been using Unreal Engine for a while. Um, I actually stepped away from it for a while so I can focus on like projects that I currently have in development, um, which are the DH prequel title is the one I'm focusing on right now, DH1 Remake, as it's called. Um, but yeah, apparently I can't find my, you know, my capture stuff. If I were to go into Unreal Engine, oh, okay, I gotta wait for for Epic to to open back up. Um, yeah, I haven't touched Unreal Engine in a long time, and how I used to do like projects and stuff, like how I would learn. Um, is this the one that I'm looking at? No, this is the one I'm working on. Um, I. I went away from Unreal Engine probably around the point of 4.24. I didn't update the engine every time, so I think the last time I had touched Unreal Engine in 2D before the release of five, uh, Unreal Engine 5 was uh, 4.19 or 4.20. Um, so when I tested Unreal Engine 5, I was taking a project, it was a 2D project, I transferred it into Unreal Engine 5 and it broke. Like, the character was not able to interact with the map, like it was falling through. Well, when I fixed the start position, I did this yesterday, because I was trying to, you know, figure out if it would be possible to make a 2D game in Unreal Engine, and I think it would be uh, possible, it's just dealing with transforms and all that just got to be a pain in the butt, where the zombie was, so, I might have to figure out, hold on, hold on, I'm, I'm going to show you guys, like, what I was, or I'll try to illustrate using a proper... I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out because I found uh, the the uh, GitHub repo on. Uh, oh no, it's okay. It is this one. Okay, so I will just build this really quick. Oh no, I won't. I have to play an editor anyway. I have to play an editor anyway because uh, the game launches in full screen by default. So I'll just use, um, I'll have to use game capture for this. Hopefully it'll work. Um, so I will hit play, play an editor, start game. So this is, this is as normal, right? So this is normal. I'm just making sure that I don't screw, that didn't screw with the jump settings at some point. Um, then, okay. Yeah, so imagine that the zombies are walking backward and in 5.0, they don't actually do damage to you because the player does not collide with anything. And the player had collision. This was all working. Keep bear in mind this was all working at some point in I'm assuming the last time I actively had worked on this project until then was like 2019 or something like that. It didn't seem like the project was the primary focus of my life and at that point it wasn't. I was busy going through uh, my degree at that time for computer programming which actually helped me learn a lot of you know basic fun like the fundamentals of programming 
So, uh, this was the prototype that I released right around, I don't, I don't even remember when I originally pub published it, but, uh, no, yeah, at, at some point when I translated it to Unreal Engine 5, it, uh, it broke the entire game, the entire mechanics. They said, yeah, it's not, not, uh, necessarily feasible to, translate a project from an older version of Unreal to whatever it is now uh, or whatever version we're on now which would have been at the time that I tested it 5.0 was still in early access so back then I chalked it up to maybe it's still in early access because I was going to create a project from scratch and then just prototype something out in the early access stages of Unreal Engine 5 because I could um However, that did not work out. Um, I ended up shelving the project and I said, you know what? So can I not? Uh, let me, I'm, I'm curious. I wonder what happens when I try to build for, for Windows. I'm actually, in this, I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to call it build. I'm going to see if it builds. I have not tried to package this project at all. Um, since I opened it and I basically reopened it this morning. But, oh, packaging failed. It did not work. Why did it not work? Uh, cook failed. Oh boy. I forgot that there were, uh, there's uh, name limits. So the basic thing is the file name is too long. And it's the same thing for everything. Could not same package, file name is too long. And usually it is like within five characters of the limit. So I genuinely am like, there's nothing I can do about it. I can just play it in the editor. I'm surprised I even got it to work as a prototype. I'm almost betting that this is not even the most recent build. Uh, or whatever the most recent build would have been. I don't remember if the prototype actually had... Uh, I can look. I, I think I'm gonna examine the prototype. I won't be able to share my screen because apparently, uh, it does not like Unreal. Just does not like me trying to leave my screen here. Uh, where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where? Oh, okay, 64 bit. There it is. It does no editor. Yeah, and it, yeah, no, I'm actually looking at it right now, and there is coins in this build, so yeah, no, that build isn't even the most recent. Um, I don't know what happened to that build, and yeah, in that, in this build, I can jump three times. I can do a triple jump, which doesn't make sense, you know, I must have been messing around with it going like, oh, maybe I could try this, and uh, I'd have to basically rework whatever I had at the time. And when you die, you respawn. There are no lives. So the lives counter does not go down in the game, which kind of shocks me. But, you know, that's something I need to learn how to reprogram. Um, and people go... Why don't you show us? I'm like, I would much rather you go play it yourself because I can't, I seriously cannot. I don't remember how to set the resolution, but since I packaged it in debug mode, you can actually 
enter uh, console commands, which would have been needed because if you pause and unpause, you cannot pause again, which was odd. Even I'm sitting here going, well, I need to, I don't know why that little lip is there, but you know, whatever. I'm on level two now. There are the introduction of, uh, ow. Yeah, no, the live counter still says four. And I think this was after I had introduced coins. So that does nothing. I, I don't know what the, the health value is. So let me get the tilde key. Yeah, the um, the um, health doesn't even automatically reset to zero. So that's where my brain's like, oh, that's bad. Oh, and this was, oh, good Lord. I'm playing this build again and saying I had a, a reliance on like, a, like having you learn how to do like elevators and stuff. I actually thought the elevator was kind of cool. You know, uh, I'm assuming this build is from like 2019. And yeah, I can, I can basically triple jump over. There's a, a section of like weirdly placed blocks. Granted, that's what I call this entire level because there's no background. Because I still, to this day, don't know how to add a background image to Un Unreal Engine uh, titles. Oh God, we're at the boss. Oh God, we're at the boss. Oh God, we're at the boss. And the boss is probably more likely to, to hurt you than you are to hurt it. So, ugh. yeah, no, the boss is more likely to hurt you than you are to hurt it. And I don't know how to, how to defeat it. Uh, because this room, you can't leave the room until you defeat the boss. So I'm going through, and basically you have to uh, do damage to it by literally bouncing on it. Kind of just trying to pull, oh god. Quit, quit, quit. Virtual uh, message. What? Okay. Something did not make it very happy. I made it to the end of the demo. And one of the things that I noticed was, other than the poor level design, which was on me, was the enemies were going one direction and... It didn't matter what you did. If they were, if they hit you, they should have turned around, and they didn't. So yay. Um, I think I'm gonna start over. If, like I'm just gonna work on it, see if I can polish it a little more. And uh, God, I'd, I'd love to have seen this get released as a decent game but no um there's a couple reasons why i just wasn't happy with it like the way it was turning out there were so many things that were broken that no matter what i tried like the save game if you click load game it won't work i don't know why i i, I don't understand it all these years later uh because i would follow like a tutorial on how to get it to work and it's like oh it it it, it's weird because I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay. Um, you know, we'll try this. And I think there's a couple different uh, main menu level, which this is not what I'm looking for. I know there was, I know there was save game. Yeah. Save game, nightmare, save game, NM. I think I saved. 
I could have sworn I had a whole, you know, save game thing. But this is... Uh... Windows, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, it just had a, a, a seizure, or not a seizure, but it basically the screen just flickered. When I closed the editor window, it said to the phone, huh, it's broken. Um, no, like, I think my biggest thing with um, Unreal Engine 5 is that's more for your 3D. Because if I actually go into five Unreal Engine 5.3, um, and, you know, you click a new game, you'll get a bunch of, like, they kept a lot of stuff around. And, I mean, I could make a, a side-scroller, which... I've thought about just revamping the game in 3D and giving that a shot, but, you know, I might try that. I might try that. I, I will have to try that, I think. Uh, so we're going to go to recent projects. Oh, they don't even have side-scrolling. They just have third person. They have blank, first person, third person, top-down, uh, handheld AR virtual reality, which you can make a platform out of the third person, which I'm going to actually try to do. Um, the one thing that I will always, I just don't like about running uh, from the Epic launcher is it requires me to have VS22. And for people that don't know, I don't have VS22 on this machine. I didn't plan to because I would have installed everything I need to do desktop development, game development, all that fun stuff. And um, what makes me mad is now I can't, like, so I was trying to dual boot, right? And I think what I need to do is get refined or refine, or refine or refined, I don't know what it is, um, and boot off of that find a way to boot off of that because I cannot get into my Linux uh, distribution my Linux Mint distribution which that would have been my uh, port distro for when a project is ready I should actually keep an eye on if Unreal Engine is finished on my HP workstation see if it's done building I've been wanting to do the um I've been wanting to do Unreal Engine uh, development once again for a while. And no, no, it's not. It's still got another 3,000 files to go. Good gravy. No, I honestly, like, um, for people that go, well, you know, you can always work on a version of the 3D platformer that you want to make it's like I've got enough projects in development that I probably shouldn't just focus but I'm also just feeling like I want to work on something else and I that's honestly why I started working on uh, Project Nightmare the backstory behind that was I was so tired of, of making RPGs that I'm like I just want to you know I want to focus on I want to do something else I want to make a different style of game but I don't know how to do it so I'm going to follow a tutorial. I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make this work because I would rather make something and fail than throw out something very, very quick. Because for people that don't remember, I uh, I was really bad at, at deadlines. So the deadlines were like... Uh, uh, I would say, you know, a project will be out by June. It'd be out in April. It didn't matter. It'd be out in April. And I, I don't know, man. Like, um, that's just the way I was. And it just wasn't fun for me to do that anymore. And um, I do want to make a project that is a platformer. 
I want to get away from making solely RPGs. Um, I do want to actually turn Project Nightmare into a reality, but the problem is, at the point, at the rate that I'm going, with my consistent, my inconsistently consistent schedule, is probably not going to get done. Uh, like today, I've been trying to build Unreal Engine, which I need horsepower. Honestly, this is an extra computer. This HP workstation is. It is, for people that are curious, I've had this computer since I started going to college. I, it was a, it was my development PC after I graduated for Project Nightmare, but I ended up re-imaging it to put Linux on there, because I actually liked running Linux, and I still do. Um, I was going to dual boot Windows so that I didn't have to set up a Windows VM and then build everything from there um, but if I have to I will I do have a Windows desktop that's sitting around but I would love to just be able to say oh yeah I, I can get it done but knowing my my history it's not gonna get done I'm I hate to be negative I hate to be just negative or like a, a Debbie Downer or whatever I just I'm being honest with myself with the way that I work, I basically probably won't get it done. But I can change that. And I probably should. Because to be fair, I wanna get I wanna get away from making RPGs. I have for quite some time. And my goal with Project Nightmare was to actually release it as a, a, a standalone project. But I never got it, got everything working. I never, you know, redesigned levels like I wanted to. Um, and a lot of the, the feedback that I got was, you know, you should stick to your RPG Maker games because those look nicer, play better. And I go, yeah, you're probably right. But at the same rate, I wish I'd have just stuck to my guns and said it's a prototype. This is just a, you know, Uh, this is a uh, 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 I can't even speak English right now like this is a, a prototype it's not representative of the final build but knowing my luck it probably would have been so and nothing against those those uh, people that said hey this looks like crap I just went yeah you're, you're right I actually agree it looks terrible and I've said when I would show it off this game does not look the best it looks terrible does not play the best it honest honestly just no it doesn't run very well so keep that in mind um and i i i feel like i have more of a knowledge than i did back then of, of programming in general but i also feel like i've lost it And I know that was a random topic switch, but no, talking about programming, people say, if you don't use it, you lose it. And I'm like, I feel like I have lost so much of the knowledge that I had. But my, my knowledge when it came to actual programming was in desktop applications. I knew how to make desktop apps. So right now, I think I'm going to end the stream so I can A, get some food, B, figure out what I want to do. So we will see you guys later.